Welcome to Getting Connected at Susanna Wesley. In this video, in part one, you'll find out how to download and use the Church Center app. And in part two, you'll find out how to add your information to the church directory. Throughout this video, whenever you'd like a little extra time, feel free to push the pause button and then when you're ready to continue, push the play button again. Now let's get started on the Church Center app. The first thing to do is to download the Church Center app if you haven't already done that. On your home screen, you'll touch the App Store icon, which is a blue square with a white A. When the App Store opens, click on the magnifying search button at the bottom right. When the search screen appears, type Church Center at the top, then tap the search button at the bottom right. On the next screen, beside the Church Center app, touch Get. After the app is downloaded, the word Get will change to Open. Touch the word Open. Here's the first screen you'll see. Click Get Started. Next, the app will find our church. Touch Use My Location, or you can search manually. It's probably a little easier to use the Use My Location button. Our church should show on the next page. Touch the Susanna Wesley Square. You should see our church's logo at the top. Touch This is my church at the bottom. Next, enter your cell phone number here to receive a security code. Or if you want to use an email, touch Use Email and then enter your email address. Then touch Next. If you entered your email address on that last screen, you'll need to open that email to retrieve the code. If you entered your phone number, a six-digit code will appear on your phone. Yours will be different than the one shown on this video. Enter the six-digit code from your phone here. After entering the six-digit code sent to your phone, of course not this code, touch Next. On the next screen, you can touch Login As and your first name will appear. If your phone uses Face ID and you want to sign in this way, touch Enable Face ID. If not, choose Not Now. If you chose Face ID on that last screen, you'll be asked if this is okay just to double check. Church Center asks if you can be sent notifications. It's a great way to stay connected. Touch Allow. The next screen will be the home page of Church Center. To add a profile photo and check your other information, click the person icon on the top right of the screen. On the next screen, touch your name. If a profile photo is already showing, decide if you want to use that photo. If not, touch update photo, or if no photo is showing and you want one to, touch update photo. On the next screen, touching Take Photo will open your phone's camera where you can take a selfie. Touching Choose from Photo Library will let you choose a photo already taken. After adding a profile photo, scroll down and check Other Info. Correct any info if needed. When you're sure all is correct, touch Update. To check into worship or to other events on the day of that event, click the Check In button at the bottom. Here is the check-in screen. Touch the event you would like to check into. To check into worship service, scroll down the screen. The screen will look like this after scrolling down. To check into worship service, tap here. After clicking worship on the last screen, touch the person's photos or names that you would like to check in. Each person you tapped on the last screen will show a green check mark in front, as well as a drop-down menu of the event, in this case, worship center, then touch Next, clicking on the down arrow in the location line will give you two choices. You will be able to indicate whether you are worshiping in person or online. Here are the two choices, worship center, in person, online, remote. Touch how that person is attending and then repeat for each member of your family. A check-in successful screen will show next. Checking into events helps the church keep track of attendance. Thank you for taking the time to do this each week. Now touch the home button to go to the home screen. 
to check into events throughout the week, touch here. Your name will appear on the next screen. You don't have to fill in the phone number or address if the church already has your information. Scroll down to continue checking in. After scrolling down, please choose whether worshiping in person or online. Also, choose whether you are worshiping by yourself or with others. If you chose with others, another menu will appear where you will choose add adult or add child. Next, another menu will appear. You only need to fill in those areas with a red asterisk. Then scroll down. Now touch Add Child and fill out the drop-down menu, or if you're done, touch Submit. You will next see a submission confirmation. Thank you so much for checking in. It helps the church record attendance. Next touch Close at the top left. Back at the home screen, touch Events to see upcoming activities at Susanna Wesley. In Events, you can see what will be happening at Susanna Wesley. Touch Give to send an offering or donation to Susanna Wesley. After touching Give, you will see this screen. Enter the amount you would like to give here. Next, you can choose which fund you would like to donate to by touching Fund. A drop-down menu will show you the choices. You can also choose how often you would like to donate this amount. Touch Frequency and a drop-down menu will appear. To link a bank account, a debit or credit card, or use Apple Pay, touch the down arrow under Payment Method. Then you'll choose the method of payment here. If you chose debit, credit card, you'll be asked to enter the card number, expiration date, the CBC or card verification code, and the billing zip code. Now touch Save. The debit or credit account you added will show here. You may add more methods of payment if you prefer. Then touch the account you want to use for this giving. If you would like to pay the processing fee, in addition to your donation, so that the church would get the total amount at the top, touch Cover the Processing Fee, then touch Give Blank Now, whatever amount you decided. Then you will be shown a confirmation and a thank you screen. Touch Done. Part 2 will explain how to get information and photos onto our church directory. You can join the church directory from the Church Center app. Touch More under the three dots at the bottom right of the screen. On the next screen, you'll see two choices, Calendar and Directory. Touch Directory. Or if you get an email from church inviting you to the directory, you can click on the link and it will open up to this page and you can click Join Directory. The next page, you'll see the first page of the directory. Some of the names have been changed for privacy. To add your information, click on Share Now. Next, you'll be able to choose which information you want to include in the directory. So the first step is to touch the circle in front of your name and picture. A drop-down menu will appear, and you can choose which information you want to appear on the directory by touching the circle in front of each. Also check to make sure that all the info is correct. Scroll down below your own information and you'll see your household info. If a household photo is already showing, decide if you want to use that one or leave it there. If you don't, click edit and you can choose a photo to add. The next screen, you can touch the take photo and your phone camera will open where you can take a family selfie. If you touch Choose from the Photo Library instead, the photos on your phone will open and you can choose a family photo that's already been taken. On the next screen after this one, then you would pick Select Photos. Below the household photo, you will see the name of another family member. Touch the circle in front of their name and another drop-down menu will appear. Here you can choose what info this member wants to have appear in the directory. If there are children in the family, scroll farther down and the children will be listed. 
Touch the circle in front of each child to find the drop-down menu. Choose to add each child's photo and birthday. When finished, touch Update or Share at the top right. Congratulations! You are connected at Susanna Wesley United Methodist Church. We're glad to have you with us. If you have any questions, feel free to call the church at 785-478-3697.